Yeah, hi everyone. So in this video, I'm just going to take you through how I removed and replaced my RAM. So there's a HP Envy laptop. So the first thing just to point out is, uh, while the laptop is powered on, um, just make sure that the CD drive is open before you turn your laptop off. Because uh, there's a screw in there that you need to get to. Um, so sorry for the nakedness. Um, but what I'm doing here is I'm taking up um, one of the strips um, off the laptop back uh, that reveals three screw holes uh, and this is going to allow us to um, get into those screws because uh, they're the main screws that hold in the back of this laptop casing on so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and um, remove them screws. Okay, now these screws are removed, you can see that they are just like Phillips screwdriver screws. Um, I am now just taking one small Phillips type screw out of the casing um, that goes in near the CD drive. So there's a little screw there that needs to come out. Um, these screws I'm taking out now are the small ones um, and they are, I believe, they are T5 um, hex heads or torques um, it's probably what you'd call them um, best describe them so they're a T5 Torx drive um, so there is four of these there's three down the bottom I'm just taking out now and there's just one just below the um, CD tray so once those screws are out I'm just going to try and get the back of this um, casing started off so it's a little bit out of shot at the moment but, but basically uh, I'm just running this pick um, around the outside of the casing as you can see it's just lifting up really easy so I'm just running around running that round um, and this casing will just pop straight off it doesn't take much force to get this off either uh, as long as all the screws are out this little pick just put it under once you've got it started it'll come straight off So the RAM I'm replacing the original with Corsair Vengeance. So they are two separate eight gigabyte RAM cards. Uh, that will obviously give me 16 gigabyte in total. So standard, this laptop comes with eight gigabyte. Um, I need to upgrade it to 16. I'm doing a lot of editing at the moment on DaVinci Resolve 16 and I've noticed that the rendering is a little bit slow and a little bit stuttery. And also I can't do too much on the, other, on the laptop when I'm rendering. So um, I'm hoping that this is going to solve the problem at this point. At the moment I'm recording this after the video has been shot. I know it solved the problem. So um, yeah, it's definitely improved the laptop's performance. So at the moment I've just taken out one of the uh, memory cards. The way to get these out is there's like clips at the side that you can see on the remaining one that's in there. Um, basically all you do is you just press down on the clip and the memory card automatically pops up so I'm just going to put the new one in one thing is to know at the moment that some people may have spotted is that I haven't took the battery out now this was a mistake on my part I should have removed the battery um, or there is a discharge button on some laptops apparently um, but I think they do recommend removing the battery in saying that, I've had no problems with mine. I've, rang all, I've run all the diagnostic tests on my laptop, uh, all the performance tests as well, and there's no problems whatsoever. So I've got away with it. It may be fine to do this anyway, but I think, obviously, I think they do recommend to remove or at least disconnect the battery. So obviously, the laptop was switched off when I started this job. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's better to remove the battery. So, so that's the new... Um, course air memory card just gone in
So that's the second one going in. Again, just slide it in, push it down, it will snap into place. And there we go, so we've got two new Corsair Vengeance 8GB each, so 16GB in total, fitted. If you've got any questions, um, put them in the comments. Um, so the result of the speed test, I was going to put on... Um, I was going to put on some screenshots with a timer on there and everything. I've already done it all. But to be honest, there wasn't much... Um, it was only a two-minute clip I was doing the speed test on. And there wasn't too much difference. But then I ran it again, and all of a sudden there was like a 20-second difference. Which doesn't sound much, but over a two-minute clip is quite a lot. Extend that over to like an hour clip, it's going to save quite a lot of time. But I found the, um, the results quite inconsistent. But one thing I will tell you that it's definitely improved 100% is the usability of the laptop when I'm rendering. And it renders in real time now as well. So if I'm rendering an 11 minute clip, it'll take 11 minutes to render it, opposed to stuttering and stopping and taking up to like half an hour just to do a, an 11 minute clip. And also I can all, I can like watch YouTube or can fiddle around on YouTube uploading stuff while I've got rendering in the background. So that is the difference it's made. So although I'm not gonna put the speed test on because it's just too inconsistent in terms of one minute will be 10 seconds, depending on what's going on. Um, but for definite, it's made it more usable um, to have programs running in the background, which is what it's all about. Um, and it definitely does not stutter now during rendering, which is obviously the main point of it as well. So I hope this has helped. Um, like I say, any questions, that anything that I've missed out, if you wanna know anything, Put in the comments and I will get back to you. Um, and if you're tackling this, just make sure that you take all the screws out. Because when I originally started doing this, I didn't realise that there were screws under that strip um, that you have to pull off. So just make sure you do your research before you start trying to open your computer or laptop up.